Brain Power Group Presence Episode 2 Management Environment and Social Responsibilities Jack gets hired at the bar. He is overwhelmed with how much success he is having as the new bar back at 270. Hey Jack, thanks for helping out. No problem man. I'm glad I am useful and I can learn some new skills. Jack gets along with his co-workers and the owner without a problem. However, he is curious how the bartenders are able to buy all those expensive things they have. Hey Kevin, that's a really nice watch. Is it new? Um thanks. I like it too. I got it on for my birthday. One day Jack heard Kevin and Daniel talking in the storage. He now knows how the bartenders are making all the money and it is not through their regular jobs. We should tell John about the gambling. I'm sure he would understand. Besides, he probably would like that extra money too. Are you crazy? We can tell him. Not yet. I want to make sure I have enough money saved in case everything goes south. If you were smart you would do the same thing. Jack is having a hard time deciding whether or not he should be a whistleblower or ignore his social responsibility and join the other bartenders in this illegal behavior. A whistleblower is an employee who discloses illegal or unethical conduct on the part of others in the organization. In general, they report these incidents not for personal fame but because they believe the wrongdoings must be exposed. A useful tool for Jack to use would be the moral intensity framework. Moral intensity is the degree to which people see an issue as an ethical one. He can use it to evaluate how big of an ethical issue the gambling situation is for him. Jack has to decide if he feels comfortable enough with his new boss John to tell him of this activity, and if the consequences of being a whistleblower outweigh the consequences of getting into legal trouble for this job. I really don't know what to do. This is the end of Episode 2. Management Environment and Social Responsibilities. Thank you for watching and see you next time.